Hey, my son. What's going on, Gabe? Welcome to the the live. I haven't gone live in a long time. Yeah, you're the first. Still says nobody's here, though. It says, says zero people. Up oh, one. Here we go. Let update it. <clears throat> How you been, buddy? I, I'm guessing you're doing pretty good. How did everything go? I'm not going to talk about it because it's not my place to talk about it, but how did everything go for you yesterday? Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me, Gabe. Can you guys all hear me? Oh, I got three people here now. Yeah, okay. Thanks, bud. No rush. We got dumped on again. Look. Look at the amount of snow. Oh, hey, uh, yeah, so my, I'm moving in June. Uh, actually, it'll be the end of June, beginning of July. That's uh, that's when I'm heading back home. Looking forward to it. Very much so. Oh, yeah, 20 inches of spray. I don't know how much we got, but it's enough to tread through on the trail. Dwarvy! What you doing? <laughs> I just decided to come out. Who's this fella? <laughs> hey, after five. How's it going, Cody? I uh, I haven't been out for a while in the doing. I mean, I haven't done a live stream in a while, so I figured I'd come out and do this because I didn't have a video. The weather's been been garbage. If you remember last video I put out, how it was all melted and wet and everything else. Now look at it. Our winter came back again. As soon as spring hit, winter came. That's messed up. Oh. I need to find a place to sit down and enjoy a meal. Dorvey. Hey girl, come here. Come on. What you doing? What you doing? She loves the snow. Oh, I think I might have missed the last message. Let me see. Oh, after five saying he had a snowstorm as well coming. And Raymond's here. Hey, Raymond. How's it going, buddy? I don't know where I'm going to go to set up because it's a nice bit of snow to tread through. So we'll head in a little deeper in this way. We had high winds with the snow too. So there's a lot of, a lot of uh, drifts in the woods here. So... Come here, Torvey. Come on, let's go in this way. Off the trail. How's the audio? I got headphones in, so that's what I'm wondering. New Brunswick getting hit with a storm, eh? Oh. All right. I don't know, maybe we can set up here. I don't know if it's a good spot or not, but I guess it's as good as any. Yeah, I guess this will work. Give me a second there, guys. I gotta set this up. And, uh, I'm gonna have to step away from the chat for a second. So I can get things going. Right, Got to find the right height to put this tripod. Torf, get out of it. You're getting too close to the camera. All 
All right, we got seven people here. Sorry if I missed the chat. There we go. Oh yeah, okay. I got my tracking on so I can go back and forth and move around. Flat down. What's he saying? Sounds good. Can't stay really. That's fine, buddy. You're busy. You got more important things to do than this. Technological bushman. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Amanda. How's it going? I just got to stomp the area around here down so I can get a bit of a base to work with. Missed a few. Oh, okay. It's just a man that's in hide everyone. Who's that? The outsider. Oh, you're in my son's class. Thanks for dropping in, bud. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I like the name too, the outsider. Sorry, guys. I'm missing. I'm away from the chat there, trying to beat the snow down. I'm trying to see, uh, I can't go back to the chat or what? How do I fix this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, John. Ah, is, I'm looking forward to getting home, too. It's going to be good. That's my father-in-law, if anyone's wondering. I can take this off the back. <sighs> Give me a few moments to set up there, boys. Sorry, I can't see the chat from here, but. I got a plan. Stick with me. I hope everyone's having a good Saturday. I got one of them tracking devices on the camera and sometimes it gets confused. A piece of snow falls off the tree and it whoop, looks over at it. Alright. Let me lower it down a little bit. Maybe tilt her forward slightly. Yeah, that's a bit better. I can't see the chat box if you're a message in there. I can't see it right now. Take a look and respond.
care of you. Throwing snow down on me, Torvi. Would you? Good girl. Sitting up here now. Just got a bit of charcoal today. I'm not gonna bother. I just want to get something to eat here and hang out with you guys for a bit. So I didn't bother like getting getting everything going and getting wood and everything. All right. Starter going. Yeah, throw some charcoal in there. Like two more pieces in there, might as well show me. looking around because of the snow blowing around. I just realized something. I had this taken out so I could put the other phone that I got on it so I could see the chat from here. But I don't have the uh, attachment to hold the phone. So that's no good. Oh well, let me, uh, let me just grab the phone here. Because you look at it like this, I suppose. Who's here? Let me see. What's going on with the chat? All right. Oh, Small Water's here. John Lydia, how you doing? Thanks for coming in, boys. All right. Oh, Raised Outdoors here. Oh, we got nine people here. Yeah, it's uh, it's beautiful, but I'm be honest with you, I'm kind of done with winter right now. Uh, because we had a, if you've seen my last video, we had a, a huge melt. And, uh, yeah, it, uh, I was kind of, like, done with winter at that point, right? I was looking forward to it. I got my side-by-side -side out of storage and everything, and then, boom, this hit. Now look at it. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it's beautiful. I, it's still a blessing. I'm not complaining. I just look forward to the warmer weather. That thing just keeps waving around on it. All right, I got to get something to sit on. Actually, let me let me check what, you, what everybody else said first before I move on. All right. 
Uh, everyone's saying hi to each other. All right, raised outdoors. Thanks for dropping in. It's actually not too cold. It's only like minus minus three, minus four, I think, something like that. <laughs> John. Forgot the adapter, right? Yeah. I don't know how much snow we got. Yeah. I think we had over 20, 25 centimeters, something like that. You guys, you Americans can convert it for yourself. <laughs> I don't know what that is in inches. Why is my camera shaking his head? Look at it over there. Give me a sec. I'm going to turn that off. Florida. I went to I went to North Carolina and they got like a dusting of snow when I was there in February. Just a dusting of snow and the whole town shut down. And we went we drove down the road and people were off the road like left, right, and all over the place. I, I couldn't understand it. And then it came to me that the, somebody told me they can't even buy winter tires there because they, the winters are so mild. They only have all seasons, and I mean that ain't gonna do any good. Nope, that camera don't want the snow. <laughs> Give me a sec. I'm gonna turn it off. Stop shaking. Come here. There we go. There, she's turned off. Let me bring you guys over here for a second. Southerners can't handle snow. No. No. One July day, and you would shave. No, man, this is, uh, this keeps me, this keeps you cool. This don't, despite popular belief, beards actually keep you cool. Keeps the, uh, keeps the sun off your face and the air blows through nice. Keeps it all cooled down, man. Like I said, smooth faces are reserved for women and children. I am neither, John. <laughs> See you later, Amanda. Taking off, are ya? I was born cold. I don't know about cool. All right, give me a second. I gotta make a base to sit down on. Well, that uh, those charcoals ashing over there. All right, where's Torvey? Torvey! Oh, there you are, girl. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're gonna have some white bows here. Actually, that should be good enough. What do you guys think? <laughs> Gotta love Texas, eh? I missed that comment. If it, let me see. Oh, it's Nanya, Texas. How you doing? It's been a while. This is my setup now. That's my chair. That's my fire. That's all you need. Oh, that's awesome, Tom. Glad to hear you're getting out on it. No, not too bad living at all, Raymond. Not at all, buddy. All right, let me drop this down here again.
Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. This is good. But yeah. Lower you guys down again here. Hold on. There you go. Any more on level with me. Let's get down. Let me check out the chat here, see what you guys are saying. Oh, Frontier Survivor's here too. How you doing buddy? Thanks for coming in, Heath. I have a back beard, a ponytail. I thought you were talking about your hairy back, you braided it or something. Oh, Irene's here. Hi, field guide. Thanks for coming in, boys. Uh, what else? Who's saying here? Native wall man, how you doing buddy? How you been? How you how you how you getting on with the with the you know the your circumstances lately the bad news you had? Hope you're doing okay. That's a squall. Blow and true. <laughs> Got right in the face. I would trade warm days and white beaches for sitting in the snow on a pine limb in a heartbeat. It's spruce, you idiot. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't mind some warm weather once in a while, but I I I enjoy this. This is I like the seasons. I don't know. I like. I, I would go to. I, I enjoyed warm weather. I drove. I would probably really enjoy Florida, but then I would miss winter. I'd miss getting out on skidoo. I miss ice fishing. I miss everything that this kind of, you know, environment uh, provides. This is a fancy name, pine tree. Thanks, Tom. Oh, I got 15 people here. Oh my goodness! You guys got nothing better to do than watch me today? Goodness. Ugh. The uh, she's starting the, the, the fire starting to give out some good heat there now. I'm gonna wait for it to finish ashing over and I got some sausage and um, instant mashed potato today. That's what I'm gonna do for lunch here. So we're just gonna cook that up in a little bit. Let's uh <laughs> Torby's under the tree. What are you doing over there? What are you doing? You want to fight? You want to fight? You want to fight? Huh? I'll wrestle you. I'll wrestle you. Come on out of here. Get out of here. Oh, oh she got me. Yes, wall well, man, buddy. That's expected. That's expected. I'm praying for you. I hope uh, you know. I hope you're you're finding strength day to day. What's John saying? Winter is good in the correct doses. Yeah, you're definitely right. That's why I'm uh, also kind of looking forward to Newfoundland. I, I see where I'm going to be heading is right on the water. Despite popular belief and the name backwoods. My first love of the outdoors is the ocean. It's the Atlantic Ocean. I grew up fishing on the ocean and, and, and doing all that fun stuff. So that, that's really what I enjoy doing. But um, don't get me wrong, I, I love this as well. But I'm looking forward too to getting back on the ocean and, and having that, you know, those cool breezes blowing off in the ocean in, in the summer. And then uh, that, that also helps shorten the winters a bit compared to up here, this, this far north up in Labrador, right? Hey, uh, Raymond, if you want to share out links and stuff, you can do all that, too. I wish I had more uh, people here who were... Um, oh, Cody, you're, you're you as well. I don't have a lot of mods in here. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm 
glad I could be a distraction. <laughs> Good to have you here. Hey, off the hook, how's it going? It's been a long time since I've gone live, eh? It's been a while. Now, guys, I don't know if uh, this phone might get too cold and cut out. I have no idea. So if this, this live, you know, ends abruptly, forgive me. The phone, I don't really like the cold weather. Normally what I do is I, uh, I'll just, like, get, you know those toe warmers? You get for the sticky toe warmers goes inside your boots. I mean, John doesn't know what I'm talking about, but everybody else does. Those toe warmers, uh, I just stick one of those on the back of the phone and it helps keep them going, but... Hey Ted, I asked you a few times, but you, you missed uh, my uh, my comment in a few of your live streams. Um, do you make? Can you make like artificial, um, like actual like just like little earthworms, like the little red worms, or like smaller night crawlers for like brook trout and stuff like that? At, at this and the same color, like the fleshy color. Are you able to make that with your uh, your setup? Yeah, I think most of you guys probably do have each other. You're right. This is pretty much it. Yeah, this is the minus a few people. This is kind of the uh, the OG community here, eh? A few people aren't in here right now, but what warms your flip flop? Your shoes are missing its tops. Your hat's missing its tops. Goodness. Check the fire. Oh, she's starting to be putting out some serious heat there now. Just gonna wait for it to finish, finish ashing over. Ashing over. Careful what I'm saying. Ah, I don't, I don't, I don't always say a. See, that's what's different about Newfoundlanders. We says, we says, a bye. We we say bye like um, kind of like how Australians are known to say like mate, and uh, Jamaicans are known to say mon, which is not true in all places, but regionally. Uh, but in Newfoundland, we say hey bye. Section eight's here. What do you say? I'm here. Can't type and drive. Well, not with that attitude. <clears throat> All right, I'm just gonna put that down for a second. Throw that grate on top of this. over here for a second so you can see what I'm doing here if you care to see you know what if you guys give me a second nah never mind whatever there you go soon be ready to cook on that Chat. Hear the last plane leaving that cold. That's like, <laughs> you hear that, eh? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm, no matter where I am here, unless I get on my skidoo and side by side and go, like, I'm just, I just walk outside of my living, uh, where, where I live, basically, the little community that I'm living, I just walk down the outskirts. But there is like, I don't know if it's the second biggest airport in the Commonwealth or the third biggest airport in the Commonwealth. But that's uh, the runway is not the airport itself. The airport itself is quite small. But yeah, there's there's a quite a few little planes coming and going out of here and traveling up to small communities. You gotta you gotta realize like, even northern more northern this is a lot of people living, and the only way in and out is uh, via plane. 
And that's also the only way. Hold on. I got that. It's also the only way uh, people can get food up there, right? So, like, it's it's very similar to like you, like you Americans with uh, with Alaska. A lot of the places are only accessible by plane. So, I mean, there is a road that comes and goes out of here uh, now, and it, it is anyways. Last time I lived here, it was a gravel road, and uh, if we had a rain the night before, man, it took forever to, to travel the road because it gets washed out so easy. But now they have it paved, and uh, but still, like, yeah, this airport is kind of a hub for the rest of, of Labrador and, and up north and stuff, for a lot of the, uh, the native communities and stuff. Uh, Heath's taking off. Take care, buddy. Yeah. This is all green screen. None of this is real. The tree back there? Fake. Sky back there? I don't know if you can see. No? Can't see the sky? Well, that's fake also. Torvi! Dog? Fake. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? This dog loves the snow. Good girl. She's a good girl. Are you a good girl? Mm hmm? You'd think so. You'd think so uh, after five, but uh, yeah, there's still riffraff. <laughs> Wherever there's humans, there will be riffraff. The best plane was built by Wilbur and yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, she's all full grown now. She just turned about a year old, actually. This. I think just like we've had her now almost a year, so she would have been born like a like a couple two months ago or something maybe in December I think something like that. But uh, yeah, all right. I'm gonna get uh, some sausage put on here now. That'll work. Hold on. I'm trying to find a way to balance this tripod and all this snow. I could stab it in the snow, I suppose. Here we go. All I'm doing, I'm gonna have a few sausages. I'll probably have two. I'll make one for the dog. Also going to have some. Uh, gonna make some of this uh, mashed potato. Actually, I'll probably make the mashed potatoes first. That makes more sense. The wieners back in the fridge right there. that meltdown. Oh. There. Right, let me check the chat again, see what you guys are up to. Falling off, falling off my bed of spruce. Yes, yeah, a new AI background. <laughs> oh, that sucks, small waters. That's really bad. 
I tell you, people don't realize like how, how like if you're not used to snow and how heavy it can be. Snow can, snow is is not something to, to mess around with for like in avalanche areas and stuff. Like I mean, this snow here is is heavy, is dense. Yeah, I bought a new crappy, crappy reel. I gotta keep scrolling. The the, the chat, they got that, that heart in the way all the time now. I don't know why they did that. Alright, that water's starting to melt. Come over here. Come here. Come over here. Lie down. I know. What do you want to play? <laughs> if I can store my yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought, I didn't know you were telling a joke, John. Sorry, my bad. You're not usually funny, so I didn't know. <laughs> wow, I'm very jealous of those three avalanchers. Avalanchers? Is that what you'd call someone stuck in an avalanche? Are you an avalancher now? Anyways. Damn it, Joe. I need need two homestead. I'm from Nova Scotia, and I've been to this land many times. It's beautiful right now. Very cool. Yeah. Nova Scotia. What? Do you mind me asking what parts of Nova Scotia? I lived in Nova Scotia for a while. I was in Dartmouth. That was a nice few years ago now, though. That's about 17, no, eight, uh, about, yeah, about 15 years ago or so. I knew it was a joke somehow. We're gonna ask for the high peak from the last thing because it froze yeah. That'll be a headline, eh? Check check the water. Ooh, my seat over. Almost getting there. Oh, we got 14 people here. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Hey, Charlie, how's it going? NL Ghost Wolf. I think everybody here knows NL Ghost Wolf as well. <laughs> what's that say what's it ghost oh yeah i know ghost all right yeah chuck i uh or charlie whatever i know ghost i uh came out for for a little bit of a little bit of a boil up and with my lunch and just to catch up on chat for a little bit i haven't been uh I haven't been live for a long time. It's been a been a nice while since I've been live. Four of these collars. Got the light left on. There we go. Turn that off. <clears throat> she got one of these. Uh, it's called a pet safe co collar. I I love the thing. I've used it for my dogs all the time for training. It has a uh, it has a little light that lights up. So at nighttime when you're walking the trails and stuff, you can just turn it on and you can kind of see where the dog's going. It's got a uh, like a high pitched tone. Uh, that breaks their concentration. It has a vibration that breaks their concentration, and then the third option would be a shock. Now I haven't I haven't had to use the shock part of it since she was much much younger. It's been a long time since I've had to use the shock part because now if I just push the button for the beep, 
she's instantly whatever she's doing, she drops what she do, she drops what she's doing and takes off back to me, which is which is good because she sees something there now. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Gonna go investigate. I can wear the shot collar, but I ain't gonna push the buttons. Yeah. Get one of those um those dog uh, dog whistles. Hi Tina, how's it going? Not a, I mean, we do get polar bears around here every now and then, but very, very, very solemn. Not too often does it ever happen. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. Actually, she's not far enough away. I don't want to use the beep. Because she's pretty good. Usually if I just go, she comes right back. Go on. Go explore. Go on. Oh, you're going to take my seat now, are you? You are too, aren't you? Get out of here. I, yeah, one of those shores. Don't worry. I'll warm it up for you. All right, let's take a look at the... Oh. Picked up a few... A few spruce needles in that, but whatever. How warm is that, I wonder? No, not, not warm enough yet. Soon. Let me uh, stick that back this way here. Yeah, uh, we, got, we just got dumped on last night. If you, you remember my last video, I was walking through puddles of water. And, and this all happened, this is all from, from just one day. We just got dumped on, and it's uh, it was blustering wind. We had like four, uh, 54, almost 60 kilometer winds, and so there's lots of drifts outside the woods. There's lots of drifts. Oh yeah, I'm gonna yeah, do some maple trees. Getting some maple syrup. Are you saying hi, are you? Hey, girl. You wanna fight? Corby, you wanna fight? Nah, she's like, I'm too tired. Hey, Paul. Paul. Good girl. Corby. Woof. Woof. Good girl. Put that back in the snow. Let me check, see what's going on here in the chat. Winter Wonderland. Yeah, it is. It is beautiful. I do love it here. I was saying earlier uh, how much I I love the seasons. I like have I like having you know I like to change the seasons. In the summer, you get the heat of the summer. You start looking forward to the fall. Fall is my favorite time of year, though. I I I I don't know. I like it all for different reasons. I like fall mostly because it's it's when hunting season is. But. <clears throat> See what's going on here in the chair again. I'm chilly watching this now. I gotta go walk out in the yard and look at the orange and mayos. <laughs> I have a new puppy, he's one year, he's a cheapskate. What's that? Oh, oh, Chesapeake, yeah, he's a cheapskate. Uh, a Chesapeake, is that how you say it? Bay Retriever, first time using a training collar, works great. Oh, it does work great. If you do it right, and you give them like give them the warning, and then go to the next step, and then if you have to, you can use the shock. But um, if you do it that way, then they they relate. Okay, this is warning number one, warning number two, and then I'm gonna get shocked. Eventually, they hear warning number one, and they they just come running back. Yeah, whereabouts are you in Nova Scotia? Raymond's in Nova Scotia. 
Who's that saying? Hope I'm doing good. Who's that? Oh, RC Garden. Hey, how's it going? RC Gardener. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Let's, uh, let's see here. What's got going on? Ten plus hours of driving and a fair ride between me. Yeah, currently. Eventually, it's going to be just a uh, five hours, six hour. No, probably a little more. Five is, yeah, but six hour drive. Yeah, Tom, buddy, take it easy. Go visit with the folks. Oh, what's what's this? I missed this. Go and charge with your own taps. Oh, you're, that's what you're doing for uh, for your TV for the TV show. If you guys don't know, we have a uh, a, a channel up here, it's CBC uh, Television, and uh, NL Ghostwolf has a segment on there now. So he's he's actually uh, on, on TV on the big screen. So that's pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, he's going to be tapping some maple trees on it next. They're like, what? Well, is that like another five-minute segment? Is that what's going to be there, uh, uh, Charlie? Upper Stewiak, yeah. Okay, I, I never... Like I said, I was in Dartmouth, but... That's pretty cool. I like Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia's... Nova Scotia's good. Oh, but I'm a Newfoundlander at heart so anything that's on the east coast reminds me of home and uh, it's all right i think that water's probably heated up enough there yeah perfect let me see here now all right that's Great, it's hot enough. All right, now I can put the sausages back on. There. There. Is that the, uh, yeah, just short clips. The radio shows are longer, yeah, because you're doing like that. It, it, is it gonna? Is the radio shows all gonna be like interview based, or is it? Are, are you just gonna be also just doing most of the talking in it? Hey, you want? You want something to eat? Do you? Do you? Give her one of these now. My dad? No. I didn't say you could have it. No. Okay. You don't want it now. Are you joking? Here. What's wrong with you? Here. Okay. Here. <laughs> Labrador morning, Newfoundland morning, and St. John's morning shows. And they're all playing the same segment, though, is it? That's, is that right? To assume that? They're... Yeah. I don't know if they're... Uh, Char I mean, Charlie would be the best one to, to answer that. Uh, 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 Cody... Uh, Cody, but uh, I think the uh, they are on the web. They're on their website, that's for sure. Hey, hunting and stuff. How's it going, buddy? Thanks for coming in. It's been a while since I've gone live. Figured it's about time. I don't know how much water I'm supposed to put in here. Two cups of boiling water to a serving bowl. Hold on, there's a measuring on this. What's that? This is okay. Good. Whatever. Two gears. I'll just throw it in and mix it up. See what happens. I think I might have a spoon in this bag somewhere. Hold on, 
I gotta look for that. Oh man, it smells good though. Got some water. Where's the spin? Oh, here it is. All right, perfect. Don't forget to hit the, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to say like button. <laughs> it faded away. I don't know if I, uh, this is my first time going live. What's it say? Oh yeah, thumbs up. Uh, somewhat questions sometimes are going in rabbit holes along the way. All right, perfect. Yeah, I look forward to them. Um, yeah, I, uh, stir this up. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, butter and herb. Just mix it with some water. I think it's a bit better if maybe if you mix it with some milk. But that's still good. Oh, that's really good. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, they do have a YouTube. So they put it on their YouTube channel also, right? Because last one I've seen, I think i only seen on their, uh, their CBC platform. Yeah, you know what? There's no point of going back with one sausage. Maybe I'll well cook it up. All right. I'll let that there cook a little bit longer. Oh, there. Oh, I feel like I should have melted more water down and that mashed potato is good. I feel like I'm gonna I want more of that. Right, let me check the chat over here, sorry. Cody on your YouTube. Okay, yes, yep, go to Southern Tennessee. I'm doing good hunting stuff. Thanks, buddy. I um, I just figured I'd come out here and uh, I said I just got a message from something. Oh, cell phone beer bills ready. Um, yeah, I just figured I'd come out here. I haven't done a live stream in a long time, and because of the weather, I haven't been able to get out and do any adventures and. I keep missing, uh, you know, putting stuff out for you guys on Saturday. So I figured, you know what, I might as well just come out here today and have a meal and chat and catch up with everyone. See how everyone's doing. And Davy Crockett's birthplace, eh? Pretty cool. Um, what's everyone's plans for today anyways? Besides watching me. Out here. There we go. Look at that. I think John took off. Did he? he got too cold? Oh, that's good. I hear you, Cody. You gotta rest, man. You gotta take care of yourself. Can't overdo it. That one's warmed up enough for our hair. It's probably a little too hot, actually. You want it? Oh, you're gonna burn yourself. You cooled off in the snowbank. There you go.
this is my first time using YouTube Live. I always use StreamYard. Thank, thanks for coming in, Irene. Appreciate it, Field Guide. Thanks for hanging out. I um, I always use StreamYard. I'm not sure if I like the whole YouTube side of it because the the comments pop up and then they just fade away right slow and and you can't see them until someone else leaves another comment. So if you miss it, you miss it. So that's why I stole my wife's phone. Sausage and mashed potato, boys. Good. She's some slow eater, though. I've never had a dog eat so slow. All, all my other dogs I always devour their food. Halsey's not out here with me, my other dog, because she's uh, she's too prissy for this kind of stuff. She'd be frozen to death right now. She's she don't like the snow. I put her outside as soon as she's done peeing. She's at the back door and wanting to get back in right away. Man, that's good. That's probably the best instant mashed potato I've ever had. So I'm my last day here. My last day of work, I should say, is June the 21st. I'm hoping to be leaving the next week. Take me a couple of days, you know, to comfortably travel and camp on the way. Uh, that's what we're going to do to me and the family. We're going to just take some time and, you know, take take three or four days. I think it's three days I get. I'll travel back home and and then I'll settle in. But I, I'll be... Uh, I'll probably go radio silent from... Maybe from... Uh, I don't know, because maybe I'll do live streams or something. I have no idea, but I'm going to be pretty busy with the move. But from mid-June to uh, probably once I settle in, get everything going, you know, and get my uh, computer and everything set up, mid-July. And uh, But I'll probably update, I'll update my, my new stream, my uh, community tab, I mean. Daniel, I have to run. I uh, faded away again. See you, Chuck. Let me see what the rest of what it was you said. Daniel, I had to run. Go work on another presentation for different schools I'm going to this week. Yeah, buddy, take care. Good on you, too, by the way. He, uh, NL Ghost Wolf, if you guys get a chance, check out his video. He, uh, put out a video on his channel. He's, he's basically just, he's sharing, um, you know, his, the new flan culture, his culture. Um, uh, NL, NL Ghost Wolf is also, uh, he, he's, he's native blood. So he's he's got some rich heritage there as well on that side, plus the Newfoundland side of him. He's very much like uh, you, know, you know involved with the outdoors and stuff. So he actually did a a presentation at one of the local schools where he uh, showed them how to make pen sets and and uh, showed them how to butcher a rabbit. And then he made rabbit stew. They had rabbit stew made for the for the kids, and they all sat down and ate it. So it's it's good to see uh, you know people people um, sharing you know the outdoors and what it can offer to the youth and stuff. I'm going to make more mashed potatoes. This is too good to give up. I got more there. I'm going to make it. It's going to melt down some more snow. Right on the, right on the fire, or on the hot coals, I should say. Look at that. The coals are still glowing down there pretty good. Cooking that last sausage there. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> oh, that's hot.
Yeah, you're right after five. And there's not many places in the in the world that would uh, would probably do that. These are really good if you guys get a chance, man. I'm not even joking. These are probably my favorite ones now. Savory honey and garlic sausage by Schneider's. Whew. I was going to bring out some bear ribs, but... Bear's not a meat that I like to mess around with unless it's pre-cooked. Because I like to use a thermometer and make sure that it's fully cooked, you know, just just for the very slim chance there's trichinosis. But up here, actually, uh, the wildlife division did a test on trichinosis with black bear in Newfoundland and Labrador. They'd had 180 samples, I believe. This is back in 2016 or something they did the test. Um... And out of all the samples, they had one positive for trichinosis, and it was a bear from Labrador. There was none on the island. So, you treat it like pork, right, though, just in case. You, you got to make sure it's fully cooked. I can't believe there's still 10 people there. You guys got nothing to do, eh, besides watch me? I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you're here hanging out. Yeah, you got that right after five. They would be shaking in their safe place. Yeah, they, they actually, right, right in the gymnasium, there's one kid held up the rabbit and Chuck went over and showed him how to, like, just using a knife, you know, how to, how to skin them, get the fur off them, butcher them. I mean, that's not, uh, in today's atmosphere of, of, you know, weak men and just weak people in general, they, uh, they've forgotten how we've gotten where we are, and they think that food just spawns on the shelves inside of grocery stores. I already gave you two. No, you're not getting no more. All right, I'll share it. Share with you. You can have half. <laughs> no, sorry, I didn't mean. I didn't mean to assume. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we live in a clown world, man. We live in an absolute clown world. Well, it is what it is. I just won't take any part in it. I'm looking forward to getting back and uh, getting a homestead going. Oh. I should have asked because I got the headphones in. You guys, can you guys hear me chewing really loud? Is it loud? Okay. Only imagine how you feel about the world. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good about the world, my world. I just won't take part in any of the nonsense. That's all. If other people wants to go down that road, they can go down that road freely. I'm, uh, I'm sticking to my guns on this, and I'm not going to be forced to pretend that other people aren't pretending. That's all I'll say. It's really good. I really want to eat it all. But you're cute. So I'm going to give it to you. Not before I take another bite. It's hot. Can you take it? It's hot. Don't burn yourself. Be careful. They're all late in the snow. All late right there.
Okay. You can have it. Good girl. I mean, <clears throat> I was just saying, Thomas Last Lovely. You got that right, Curry. Jesus is King, yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah. I, uh, and that's basically it. I'm just putting all my faith and trust in, in the Lord, and uh, I uh, separate myself, right? As like the scripture says, be, be uh, from the world, not of the world. And that's, that's what I, I need to do. Yes, it is native wall, man. I, uh, and I, I'm a big fan of you, you know that I'm a big fan of tea and wild teas and Labrador. I mean, you know, Labrador tea, it's an abundance here, obviously. Um, I could probably just walk anywhere with this trail here and find Labrador tea. I'm probably gonna dig down a little bit actually right now, but might be some in there. But today I didn't bring any tea. I was going to, but just some some cold water. How long have I been going for? Have I been going for an hour? Are you serious? Man, oh man, I didn't know it was going that long. Yeah, I'm a big fan of tea. Actually, my favorite tea right now um, is actually what's called Bangle Spice. Uh, you got to purchase it. Obviously, it's a mixture, but it's got um, it's got uh, nutmeg. It's it's like a blend. It's, it's it's a non-caffeinated tea, but it's uh, it's got nutmeg and cinnamon in it and everything else. It's basically like a stronger, better version of chai tea. Our Labrador and Newfoundland separate provinces. Okay, so no, they're not separate provinces technically. Um, Labrador has always been kind of annexed to Newfoundland. Newfoundland used to belong up until 1949, belonged to the uh, the, the British, and we were part of the British colony. Um, after the war, we uh, we didn't want to be part of them anymore because essentially we were used as cannon fodder. They didn't care about us. They didn't, you know, we were just people across the ocean on an island. They, they didn't they didn't care for us at all. Uh, so that kind of drove the population to give up on the uh, you know the, the 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 British, and we wanted because uh, we were kind of independent anyways. In a way, we had our own resources. We even had our own currency, our own money. Uh, now, Labrador at that time was just a vast, vast land like it is now. It's much more populated now because people have after, there's an industry here. People are after developing it, and there's communities and stuff like that. But before, it was mostly just uh, it was just the, the natives that were living here. Uh, so Labrador was always kind of annexed part to Newfoundland, but it was never considered, like Newfoundlanders never considered it a part of Newfoundland because it's an island, right? Newfoundland's an island, I mean. Uh, Labrador was attached to the mainland, and it was kind of more associated with Quebec. Uh, however, when Newfoundland joined uh, Canada in 1949, uh, it was annexed, I guess, as one province, but it's not considered it's kind of, how, how can i say it let's say if north no nah, that's not even a good example kind of a crappy example but let's say north dakota and south dakota they're two different states but like north dakota didn't have a population to support its own government and economy so they attached it to south dakota and it just became dakota um that's kind of basically what's happening you have labrador very low population of people not developed newfoundland more developed different industry, different people, different culture. Um, but both of them were combined into one province under Canada called Newfoundland and Labrador. <clears throat> hey, my mom's here. I forgot to let her know that it's going live. I knew she was going to sneak in here and I'm going to hear about it later. You wait. Um, where's she at? Hi there, mother. How are you doing? Violet Sturge. That's my mom. Most of you guys know that. But yeah, for tax purposes, for governmental purposes, it's the same province. 
But people from Newfoundland don't consider themselves Labradorians. Labradorians don't necessarily consider themselves Newfoundlanders. Now, there's a lot of mutual respect between two provinces. And there is a lot of shared culture because people have moved from one to the other, and you know, for, for work and other reasons. And Labrador and uh, has adopted, and Newfoundland has adopted, many of the similar uh, shareable cultures. But it, it's just not going to be the same because it's, it's just geographically different places. Labrador is always going to have a different culture because it's a different landscape. And uh, the, uh, the culture around here is not, not as um, sea-dwelling. Newfoundland is more sea dwelling. Uh, there's not a single community in Newfoundland more than 100 kilometers from the ocean. We all live on the coastline next to the ocean, and uh, and Newfoundlanders traditionally lived kind of a no nomadic lifestyle. They would live uh, during the warm seasons by the ocean, and then everyone would move inland to get away from the harsh weather uh, into the woods and stuff like that during uh, the winter seasons and that's also now that's not the case anymore since we have a grid and power electricity and all that stuff but that's the way it was and that's why cabin culture in Newfoundland is extremely uh, popular everybody and their dog has a cabin everybody spends the weekends and the holidays at their cabin and people who don't have a cabin want a cabin or they have a cabin accessible to them I just bought a cabin I'm very excited to actually get home and, and get to that and show you guys that it's right on a lake uh, it's actually it's on a pond, a big pond, and guess what the name of it is? It's called Big Pond. <laughs> Besides Newfoundland, what's the best outdoor province? Um, ooh, that really depends. That's a good question, Cody. Um, one second there, Cody. I'll, I'll answer your question in a second. Native wall man, my favorite black flower is. Yeah, well, Native, you know all the teas, man. You're always making cool teas. You've got all kinds of stuff you know about. I'm not that, uh, I'm not that educated on, on the edibles that I can drink and stuff. I kind of have a, a list of ones that I know of, and then I stick to those for the most part. Um, okay, besides Newfoundland, what's the best outdoor province? Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's exactly it, Raymond. It really depends. New Brunswick in winter. See, I've, I've lived in Ontario. I've lived in Nova Scotia. I've lived in New Brunswick. Uh, I spent a short amount of time in Quebec, but not enough to judge it. Uh, but the provinces, I, I think, I think it's different here than, than in the because in the states you have so many states geographically positioned, and there's not a lot of states besides maybe the ones where the mountain ranges run through, where you really get diverse. I, I shouldn't say that. That's an assumption, but. Uh, you're probably not getting as much diversity in, in geographical, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Like, like, let's say Alberta, Southern Alberta and Northern Alberta. It's such a large landmass and same thing, Ontario, you got uh, Southern Ontario and Northern Ontario. They're two different worlds. So to say like Ontario is good is a good province uh, um, for hunting and stuff like that. Uh, it depends, depends where you're at because it's just so big. So it's, it, it really, really depends. Ontario is, is great. And Ontario, like I said, the, the, you got the Great Lakes down south, but then when you go up north, you have, it's, it's just like this place. It's very similar to this place. So um, yeah. What's the temperature in Labrador? I think today is like minus three, minus four degrees Celsius. Whatever that is in Fahrenheit, I don't know. If you ever get time, gotta come visit. I'm 300 yards from out here. Buddy, I, I am coming to visit. I'm coming to see you and I'm coming to see uh, Tom. I'm gonna see both of you guys at some point. I just, uh, I need to figure out when and how. All right, native wall man, buddy. Thanks for coming in, I appreciate it. Thanks for sharing your knowledge and uh, I'll keep you in my prayers and, and I hope you're, you're uh, you know, you're finding more strength day by day, and uh, and keep keep pushing forward, buddy. We're rooting for you. <coughs> Depending on what you're looking. My motor, my mother just took off. Did she? Oh, she's there. You still there, mother? Northwest Ontario. Yeah. 
So I, I can't I, I can't honestly say in good conscience which province is, is better. Um, after Newfoundland, in my opinion, but I might be a little biased on that. Everyone needs to come. Yeah, I mean Newfoundland is so. Airplane flying over a helicopter actually. Um, Newfoundland is 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 a whole world of stuff. I love it. It's got the fjords. You got the the old mountain range there, and you know there's we don't. One thing, um, one thing I love about Newfoundland is the nuisance wildlife. We don't have to worry about so much. There's no raccoons, there's no porcupines, and there's no skunks. So we don't have to worry about that stuff. Um, being an island, I guess they just never got a chance to get there. We've had a higher um, percentage of. This is mine. You don't get mashed potatoes. Get out of here. Go. Everyone needs to come to Newfoundland. Best province ever. Did you enjoy it, Raymond? I agree, Mother. Best province ever. But again, we might be a little biased. And this mash feels good. Yeah, you definitely got to come visit. Definitely. See you, buddy. Thanks. Thanks for dropping in. I appreciate it. Say hi to everyone for me, eh? Tell everyone I said hi. Take care, bud. Um... What are we gonna say? I forgot what we're gonna say now. All right, fine. Here, a little bit of mashed potato. Here, you can have that. Okay. No, you don't want it. All right, I'm taking it. Oh, now you're eating it. You know you're gonna lose it. I don't know, see RC uh, Garner, if you're still around there. I don't know if I'm going to be coming that way. I might just be heading straight down, but uh, if we decide to take the long way around and come to Newfoundland, and I might just do that. Take care. What's Butter saying? Can't wait to see you. Oh, she's talking to you. Your grandmother can't wait to see ya. She's a good girl. Are you a good girl? Sit. No, bad girl. She's not listening. Sit. Oh. Good girl. Woof. Torby. Woof. Oh, no, hit me. Woof. Hey. Can't just do the action. Torby. Woof. She goes. No. Come here. Come here. Torby, sit. Torby, woof, woof, good girl, good girl. Oh, you want to fight? Do you? Do you? Oh, oh. oh I got to beat her up for a second. Oh. Come here. Come here.
Come here. No. Come here. Fight me. Fight me. You wimp. Come here. It's okay to make sure she tells you that I watch your son. Oh, a beautiful young man, am I? Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna clue up here now in a second. Finish this off. And... I'm actually full. Hey, you want this bit? Come here. Come here. Eat it. I mean, there's garlic in it, but actually, no, that's butter and herb. Not enough to hurt her. Very small amount of garlic. Man, it was good. It was a good meal. I enjoyed this. Hanging out with some friends and and my mother. How funny, how dark. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true, Cody. Yeah. Are you thirsty? Here I was melting down water earlier, or melting down snow in the water to make mashed potatoes. I forgot I had a whole jug of water. Well, I never forgot. I just never clued in to use it. Whatever. Here. Drink. Is that all you want? Yeah, there is Trent. Yeah, lots of snow here now. Got dumped on. This all came back in since yet yesterday. Started yet? Uh, well, not last night. The night before it started late in the night, and then it went all day. As soon as spring hit, we got our winter. Spring bear in Labrador. See. Oh yeah, um, I've con I'm contemplating it. I, I haven't really made a decision just because I'm, I I don't know how much time I'm going to have to get out and, and do it and process it. And my biggest thing is, it, can I do it? Can I get a bear early enough that I can take care of the hide and get it tanned up? Because I still got three bear hides in my freezer. I got to get tanned up in like 18 rabbits or something like that that I still got to tan. So. I don't know if time is going to allow it, just with, with the move and everything, so it's up in the air. I don't have a yes, I don't have a no, but unfortunately right now it's probably leaning more towards a no, just given the the reality of the time restrictions that I have, because I, I mean, I still got work, I still got responsibilities and that, you know, like, unfortunately. Whoa. All right. You don't want no more water? That's it, eh? That's all you want it. Alright, throw it away. Throw it away. <laughs> I just jumped, dumped into hot coals. There you go. Let's see what's going on. 
some chant over here. Yeah, if I hear you. Oh yeah, buddy. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. hunting fish and I'm doing pretty good <clears throat> I uh, I'm, I'm actually been doing really good lately really good how you been catching much hunting what do you mean catching much they're hunting and stuff you mean fish animals or are you are you talking to me Yeah, I know, Cody. I, uh, I actually, buddy, I, I, uh, I wish I could, I wish I had a deal where I could choose a handful of people to retire with me. I'll be honest with you. You'd be on the list for sure. Oh, the rabbit trapping you mean there, uh, hunting stuff? I love this little thing. It's a great little... Great little kit. Hold up, done. Stick that. Use it as a barbecue. Use it for whatever. It's easy enough just to take some hot coals and get a fire going. Right. Yeah, um, I haven't been out in a while with the uh, with the rabbits, but. Uh, just because, like I said, the weather changed and everything else, and the season's coming to an end. I think I can still get out with the gun. I might go out, uh, might go out this week and see if I can uh, get one with a gun. If that's something you guys like, I'll take the camera and uh, probably do some filming if, if, if I can. Look at little kid. I love that thing. All right. Start throwing stuff in the bag. Take that home. Right, that thing out for nothing. I'm filming a bear hunt this spring after coyotes and winter. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Let me know when you uh, when you release the video. And uh, I'll share it out on my community tab. For the half a dozen people that pays attention to my community tab. But I'll still share it out for you. Let's see here. What's Cody saying? Gonna have to get in it. Get me in. Yeah. Yeah, I really miss watching your stuff. Really miss, miss your stuff there, Cody. You got great content too, man. You really put it together good. Get out of here. Go get out of here. That phone lasts as long as it did. I think that's it. Got my seat of boughs here. Turn that over there under the tree. back to the trail hello Cliff 
from Eastern Newfoundland. That's where I'm going to be moving back. Whereabouts are you, Bonavista? There, that's all I got left behind. Almost like I wasn't even here. There. What do you think, girl? What do you think? You wanna head out? I love the fact she loves the snow. Cause uh, I like being out on it. And my other dog, she, she goes out, she does her pee. She comes and stands in front of the door instantly and starts lifting her paws up. She froze it. What parts of Eastern Newfoundland is it, Cliff? If you don't mind me asking, you don't have to share it. But... Do you want to go home or you want to go for a walk? Let's tread through the snow a little bit more down this way. Come on, let's go this way. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go, come on. Let's go, go on. Let's go, come on. We'll go down this way for a bit. Oh, did I miss it? Goodness, an hour and 30. I feel like I'm time warped or something. I'm jumping ahead. I don't feel like I've been out that long. I suppose I have. That was a good meal. I'm full now. Great keeper in. Oh, because I tied it up? Is that what you're talking about? I mean, we should leave it like we left it, well, like we found it, right? If everyone did that, or if everyone went in the woods and then came out with, with more than they went in with in terms of trash, we wouldn't have a problem. The problem is the people who go in with wrappers and trash and come out with nothing. They're too lazy to take it out. But they had enough energy to bring it in. Makes no sense to me. There's some people up here bad for it too. I was up in the Mealy Mountains one time. Way up in the mountain range. Like far from society. Came across full bags of garbage. Just, just left there. Because they didn't want to bother packing it out. Yeah, we got some snow. Have I hunted and trapped wolves? Oh man, this, the, the chat fades away before I get a chance to read it all. Um, yeah, so I actually put out a few snares this year for wolves, uh, but time restrictions, I had to pull them. Plus, uh, it's, it's quite popular up here for, uh, for wolf trapping. And, uh, I mean, there is a nice, fit, nice bit of wolves, but not really in this particular area, so. Close to Bonavista. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm, I'm moving up to the northern part of Bonavista Bay in June or July. All right, we'll turn around here, Torvi. This is deep enough in here now. We'll head back. <clears throat> but, alrighty. What do you think? What do you think, Torvi? What do you think? Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, to getting back to the island, going back home. Looking forward to getting back to where my mother and father's at. Looking forward to getting some chickens, being able to just walk to a tr to trouting spots, little brooks, ponds, lakes, be right on the ocean. Ah, there's just so many blessings that you take for granted. 
you know when you're growing up around those places and then you lose it all when you got to go away and pretend to be an adult for like I don't know 20 years or something yeah on a clear clear night you might even see the lights glowing <laughs> will that likely be your yes Cody that will likely be my forever home it's always been home I just moved away for a while like I said just to pretend to be an adult for 20 years <laughs> Now you guys get to listen to me breathe heavy for the next few minutes. Look at her. Nobody's come down this trail. And she got the trail tore up. <laughs> I'll show you now. She says, I'm going to push this button. Look how quick she comes back. I just pushed it. Good girl. You're the good girl. She's pretty well trained. <clears throat> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Sticking your head in the snow. Show everyone what you do when you're warm. Show them. Come here. Come here. Do it again. You're silly, Torby. My dog is half ferret, I think. Oh yeah, those collars are great. The hunting opportunities. So, there's more fishing opportunities than there is hunting opportunities. But like I was saying earlier, I, uh, I got a cabin now, so I'll, uh, I'll have lots of hunting opportunities. Talking to some people who know that area, including my father. I mean, there's, there's, lot, there's supposed to be lots of grouse. There's even a good population of moose and stuff in that area now. I'm going to be trying for my moose license this year. I got to put it in for the lotto and see if I get it. But I'm hoping to do some moose hunting next spring. Will not be here just to, ah, oh, it faded away. I hate how to... Oh, here it is. Okay. We're not here to just work, pay bills, and die. Oh, you got that right. What's Cody saying? Hold on. I don't know. I don't know if I'll do this. You, I, I think I prefer a stream yard over YouTube. Like I said, you... I can't get a chance to read it. There we go. Okay, hold on. Any caribou? There is caribou. Uh, uh, probably, no, I won't be living at the cabin, but uh, it's only about an hour. How long is it, mother? Ask father, how long is it? About an hour and 45? Two hours from, from home? On the side-by-side? -side or quad or whatever? Yeah, we have caribou. I don't know what the population is like or if they're giving out licenses. Probably not. I have no idea. Um, I'm going to be applying soon to see what's available, but two hours. Two hours if you're driving to speed limit. So, about an hour and a half. <clears throat> so, I'll be spending a bit of time back and forth there, that's for sure. Doing lots of adventures, bringing it to you guys. Like I said, it's right on a pond too, and I can. I've already got my bear baiting spot kind of picked out because it's straight across the pond. I can get in the boat, head straight across the pond. I can bait the bears in there because it's far enough away. Like the edge of the pond is big enough. The bears I bait in aren't going to affect or come anywhere near the cabins. And across that pond, there's no other cabins or roads, so I have no. I have no uh, worries about bringing bears in close to where people are, you know, have their cabins and stuff and cause problems. So that's probably where I'll be doing a lot of it. It's a nice heavy forested area there too, so it should be perfect. I 
But yeah, caribou uh, is very, uh, the population has been struggling for years, so I don't know exactly what the government's doing right now for tags. I haven't really looked into it. I'm more interested in moose, personally. You get a lot more meat on a moose than you do a caribou. And personally, I like moose, moose meat more than caribou. I got a couple caribou steaks in my freezer that was given to me. And uh, I, I like it, don't get me wrong, I enjoy it, but it's not my top pick if I had to choose between the two. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, boys, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna clue this up here now. I'm gonna end this live stream, finish walking home, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. That caribou showed up. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Fun fact for anyone who doesn't know, a caribou and a reindeer is the same animal. Reindeer is just the European name for caribou. Caribou is the North American name for reindeer, but ge genetically it's the same animal. In case anybody didn't know that. But I'm uh, I'm taking off there now. Thanks for uh, dropping in and spending the evening with me there, and, or the lunchtime anyways, and while well, I had a bite to eat. Appreciate it. So I will see you guys next time. Hopefully I'll get out and have a video for you guys on Saturday. And I don't know what the weather's going to be this week, but I mean, I can get out on Skidoo now at least anyway. So thanks again, boys. Take care. And I'll see you guys later. Love you, mother. I'll, uh, I'll probably give you a call later on. All right. I don't even know how to shut this down. How do I shut this down? Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yep. Okay.